Yo, what's going on guys? The SSM back again with another video. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, I'm at work right now. I uh, just pulled up to a spot where I can do a quick, quick video. So this is going to be quick. Uh, the Dolphins did sign a new punter, which is uh, interesting news because Matt Hawk has been on the team for a few years and there were some questions about whether we might re-sign him to a deal or not. Uh, my assumption is Matt Hawk's a fine punter. Uh, but you really don't want to overpay for a punter or a kicker. Those guys, you just don't want to overpay. So I'm assuming they're just trying to save some cap, trying to save some space, let Matt Hawk go. Uh, but we did sign Michael Pilardi from the Panthers. He's a good punter. He was also from Fort Lauderdale. So he's a little bit of a homecoming for uh, Pilardi. Not bad. I'm fine with this move. I'm fine with letting Matt Hawk go as good as he is at pinning teams. Uh, he just might have been too expensive. So I'm okay with that. Uh, the only other thing that I did want to mention in this video, and this is really bigger news. I guess I was kind of saving it for last. Uh, Brian Flores had his first press conference uh, in a little while here, and he addressed a lot of things that the Dolphins had a lot of questions with. Uh, but, but as he addressed those things, uh, there's still a lot of room for further questions, if you know what I mean. Uh, so mainly, Brian Flores was asked about free agency. Uh, he said he's going to play the song saying, you know, you can't always get what you want. The first day of free agency, which kind of dropped some hints. Uh, he also said Tua is his guy. He is looking forward to working with Tua. <clears throat> and then also beyond that, said that in the draft, there's a handful of guys that they would like to select and they will have the opportunity to do so. And he said, perhaps somewhere in the top 10, kind of hinting that they would be willing to trade down from three. And I understand that move, especially with the acquisition of Isaiah Wilson. If they feel like he's an option for the future uh, and they're not completely sold on another new offensive lineman in Panay Sewell, as good as he is, uh, as much upside, maybe they're just feeling like, you know what, maybe it might be the best option to trade down right now. But at the very same time, this is the smokescreen period, and Brian Flores and Chris Greer are very, very intentional with what they like to let out, what they like to say, the things that they are okay with people knowing. And so <clears throat> the takeaway that I get from this is basically, yes, we have money in free agency, but we don't know we, we don't want anyone to know how we're gonna spend it. Additionally, yes, we have the top three pick. We have the number three pick in the NFL draft, but we don't want you to know if we're willing to trade down or not, or if we don't, who we're going to take. And then additionally, hey, yeah, Tua is our quarterback right now, but if I didn't like him, I wouldn't tell you. And obviously that's a smart move because if you're going out telling teams, yeah, this is not our quarterback, he's not playing well, uh, you're going to have a hard time trading him or getting any kind of value back for him because you really kind of already outed yourself in that scenario. So I wouldn't take a ton away from Brian Flores' press conference. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, oh my God, we have so many answers now. And you know what? I don't think that we do. And that's totally normal because this is the time of the year. This is the season that we're getting into of smoke screens and stories and rumors and a lot of talking about a lot of different things. So I wouldn't place too much value on the things that Flores had to say. I would take it all with a grain of salt, certainly because it's just that time. Uh, but aside from that, guys, Pilardi is our new punter. Matt Hawk will be out the door, potentially saving some cash. And then Brian Flores had his first press conference uh, addressing some major things with the Dolphins. So let me know how you guys feel down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and do me a massive favor, subscribe to the channel. So close to a thousand. I'm really pumped up about it. So if you could do me a huge favor, subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon so you don't miss a step this off season. Have a great day, guys. I will catch you very soon with some more content. And as always, fins up.